guys! So today I am filming my memory keeping spread for the third week in September and I am using the Scribble Prints Co. February Mystery Kit that I have been holding on to because it was sort of like darker, like fall kind of colors. At least that's how I felt about it when it came out. So I am using it. Um, I'm going to start by putting on the bottom washi and while I'm doing the foundation of the kit, um, I know someone requested that I start answering questions or something at the beginning of my videos. I know some other people do it, but just to give me something to talk about while I'm doing the foundational part of the kit because I know these can get kind of repetitive and boring. So, um, if you guys have questions that you want to ask me, go ahead, ask, um, and I will start answering them at the beginning of these videos. But today, while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about um, my like weight loss so far, because I don't really do fitness plan with me anymore, and just talk about how that is going, and like what I've been doing, what's been working, um, all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, while well, I'm putting down the sidebar here, uh, I so far have lost my, I'm not entirely sure what my highest weight was, but I know it was in the 160s, so I've kind of considered 160 my starting weight, and I was about 157 when I started really putting in like a concerted effort into losing weight. Um... So my current weight is about 143, so that is a loss of about 17 pounds so far, which is awesome. I started try, like really concertedly trying to lose the weight. It would, I would actually, I think, have it marked in here like this week so the middle of June about halfway through June was when I started and I got my scale huh oh that's the week that I didn't even do in my main planner there so my first way like my 157 was July 2nd so July August and September in three months that's like pretty much that's at least like 14 pounds so about a pound a week was kind of like what I my goal was um and so far that's kind of what's been going there's some weeks where I don't really lose anything and there's other weeks where I might lose two pounds because like you know water weight that kind of stuff um so as far as what I what I've been doing, um, basically it boils down to calories in, calories out. Um, there isn't really a magic pill or anything. I use my fitness pal to um, count calories and I count everything. I have a food scale and I weigh my food out and I log everything um, that goes into my mouth. That's basically what I do. Um, so it's been very successful so far because it's pretty much like anything that fits into my calories for the day, I can eat. There's nothing, you know, I don't eat. I try to eat healthier foods just because they're better for me and it's easier to feel satiated when you're eating a larger volume of healthy food versus a small amount of, you know, processed carbohydrates. But sometimes, you know, you just want some fast food and if it fits into my calories for the day, I eat it. Um, I don't track macros necessarily or, or at all. Um, I know some people 
you know, have a macro ratio where they feel like they're most successful or what works best for their body or health goals, but that I just don't, frankly, I just don't care enough to do the whole macro thing. Um, it's just, it ends up being like an extra thing for me that I feel like, I don't know, I don't really care enough, <laughs> but I um, do try to eat at home most of the time while, you know, all this is going on because it makes it easier, like I can eat more food because it generally tends, like home cooked food tends to be lower calorie. Um, but I, I do try to get my 10,000 steps. September sort of sucked for getting in exercise and steps and all that kind of stuff because I got sick so much. So, um, this past week was nice to kind of get back to it. I worked out like four days out of the week. Um, I ran a couple miles. I haven't run in forever. I was amazed at how much easier it was to run, like having lost, like cause when you're running, you have to like carry your weight around with you. And even just like running 17 pounds less than the last time I ran, it was like, oh, this is easier, <laughs> you know? Um, I definitely wasn't as winded, but I walk a lot, um, which does, you know, it helps increase my deficit so I can eat a little more. Um, I don't, a lot of like exercise things really overestimate the calories that you burn. So I don't like eat back everything, but if I have a super crazy active day and my Fitbit, I mean, considering I've been losing about a pound of weight, like I'm eating back the appropriate amount to maintain about a 500 um, calorie a day deficit. I mean, there's some days where I, I'm under my goal, there's some days I'm over my goal, but it kind of so far is all coming out in the wash. Um, I'm not a perfectionist about it. I don't, if I go up 100 or 200 calories over my goal, I don't freak out because I have just as many days where maybe I'm 100 or 200 calories under my goal. Like maybe I wasn't as hungry or, you know, whatever. So, I don't, I don't freak out about stuff. Um, I'm not like crazy obsessive or anything, but it's been really good so far. Um, I really enjoy like the Reddit Lose It community. If, if you're like familiar with Reddit, not all communities are created equal and the Lose It community is really awesome. Um, I found their challenges to be super motivating and it provides like a sense of, you know, togetherness and camaraderie to like be able to talk to people about that um so that's i really i really like lose it um but yeah my clothes are starting to fit again stuff's getting looser on me um there was a dress that i really liked that i have had since college that it's just like a classic black like knee length sheath dress, um, like a wool black sleeveless sheath dress from Banana Republic that I've had for forever. And it was one of my favorites and I couldn't fit into it anymore. Like it wouldn't even zip up. Um, and I was able to wear it to Joe's cousin's wedding, um, actually on the Saturday here. So that was really exciting because it's, you know, it was still snug like it'll fit even more comfortably as I lose weight but it fit and it was comfortable enough to wear all evening and like move around and stuff so it was it was nice um I definitely feel more confident and more comfortable in my body um which again you know all good things hmm I'm gonna cut her because I don't like doing the tall boxes. We're gonna do that.
the one thing I have noticed um, other than like, you know, obviously my stomach's gotten flatter, um, all that kind of stuff, but my chest has also gone down in size, which I didn't have a super like large bust area to begin with, but I am okay with it. Um, I pretty much only had gotten like more boobage going on because I had put on an unhealthy amount of weight. So it it's fine. And I'll But yeah, I am really happy with everything so far. It's very sustainable. Um, I don't, you know, I don't ever go to bed feeling hungry or anything. Um, I still am able to drink wine and Halo Top has been a saving grace for me. Um, as far as like my favorite foods that I eat on a regular basis that really help um, I love Halo Top, and for me it's worth spending the money on. Um, I've found Walmart has the cheapest Halo Top prices, unless you have somewhere that's like a buy one get one free kind of sale going on, but it's, at least at my Walmarts, I think it's like $3.88 for a pint, and it's like $5 everywhere else. Um, and Walmart doesn't have any of the new flavors in, like the flavors that just came out a couple weeks ago, but they have every other flavor. So I'm sure they will get the new flavors in because um, some places might only have like a couple flavors. Like I know Costco has it, but they only have like birthday cake and lemon cake or birthday cake and vanilla or something. They don't have all of the flavor options. Um, and I saw my Giant Eagle had some of the new flavors in, but it was on sale for $4.50 a pint. And I was like, no, trying this new flavor is not worth the extra 70 cents for this pint. I don't care enough. So, um, and they only had like matcha. If it had been like the waffles and pancakes one, I've kind of been intrigued to try. Um, but yeah, so I've been eating, I eat a lot of Halo Tops. I can have, you know, half a pint and it's only, depending on what flavor, it's, under 200 calories no matter what like so it's between 160 and 190 maybe calories and there's even been a few times I've had an entire pint if I have a bunch of calories left over and it's fine so halo top and then I really like the flat out um 100 calorie um the hungry girl which she's like a that's like a brand blog kind of thing um her like collaboration thing with flat out i really like those flatbreads they're really good like warmed up with like i'll dip it into hummus they're really they're also really good as like a pizza crust kind of thing a locale like flatbread if you want to throw some stuff on there um i also because i really love like I've been really craving like more salty stuff so I've been doing like a big salad where I'll get um, a bunch of I'm gonna put down my wacky holidays while I'm still talking here about stuff um September there we go I'll get um like an American salad blend kind of thing and put some mini pepperonis and um, those like pickled banana peppers in a jar and some chopped up bell pepper and a few olives and some, I'll get like, you could do shredded cheese, but I've been getting the thin sliced provolone from Sargento and I'll cut that up into tiny pieces. You can throw a couple pieces of salami in there, like basically all the stuff you would put in an Italian sub. And then um, you can make your own Italian dressing or sometimes I'll just find like one with pretty good like macros and like okay ingredients at the store. Um, and it's just like all the fillings of an Italian 
sub and like tomatoes and you can you know put in whatever um onion some purple onion red onion whatever very very tasty that's been like one of my go-to things whenever i want like i don't know i really like italian food so that's always a big thing for me like how can i get the flavors i want with lower calories um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and feel free to ask me any other questions in the comments or all that kind of stuff down below um and yeah i'm gonna jump in to this week which i'll warn you guys now i have like five bill dues so i'm gonna have to get out my fall multicolor bill dues because i'm gonna need a whole lot of extra bill do stickers and i was also sick the entire back half of this week um by saturday i was starting to feel a little better but i was still i had to go to the wedding but i was just like knocked out by the end of the night I was so tired so there's like a lot of good colors in here that'll work super well with this kit that was like kind of what inspired me to use this kit as I was looking at the fall multicolor and I'm like this whole row is just like in the wine color I was like this this will work so well for fall okay so I might actually do like a Maybe I'll do like a little things section. I don't know. I had a lot of like little things going on this week because I had a lot of packages and a lot of bills, bills due. Um, and also Joe working his work schedule. So on Monday I had two bills due. So we'll do this rose color. And I kind of want to save the brown so that it's not just like both of the ones that are, you know, perfectly matched with this kit here. And then farther down, I'll just random, I'll kind of mix it up here. So I'll put that in. And then Joe was working from 12 to 10. So I'm going to get a little thing for that. I'm going to use, he worked... Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and no. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm going to put the burgundy down and actually because I didn't use, I was thinking I like had used normal headers. So I'm going to center this. It's a little crooked. For Joe's schedule. And eventually I'll put Planner Kate Doctors down, but I'll worry about that later. And then on Tuesday we had another build. Oh, I guess I didn't really finish Monday. That would be a good thing to finish before I move on to the next thing. So Monday was laundry day. I took a bubble bath when I got home and then had me time because Joe was like late. So I like watched TV, had a glass of wine. So let's do a label for the Lush bath. And I think I actually used the Comforter Bubble Bar, which is not my favorite. I think they're like, aren't they discontinuing it or something? There was something that someone was real upset about, but I used the one, the sticker that matched. I don't think I showed the spread on the video, but this was the spread. I used the Happy Fall Y'all kit, um, which I really liked. So, <laughs> I'll do that sticker from Once More With Love and laundry and um, 
what am I, what am I doing here? Laundry and me time. So I'm actually gonna, I might just put like a, I had the laundry icon next to my to do's for the loads of laundry I did. So I might just do that again on this one so I don't completely cover up the purse. Um, I'm gonna get a Coffee Monsters Co. wine glass yet again. Another Coffee Monsters Co. sticker because it matches perfectly with this kit, the red wine. And laundry and I'll, I'll do the icons later when I fill out my to-do list. Um, or I don't know, I'll do this here. So the top four things were all laundry and then the bottom two things were YouTube related. So I needed, well, I guess the top one wasn't, it was unloading the dishwasher. And then fold hots, move colds, fold. So I probably, I'd started the laundry the night before and then I needed to like move the stuff from the wash, fold what was in the dryer, move the stuff from the washer to the dryer and then fold that when it was done and then well uh it was upload my videos and do the info which I did so for that I'm gonna get where's my little coffee monsters co and I'm not gonna put a laundry thing there's not enough space I don't I don't think so there was that and then on Tuesday I had two packages I had one from Amazon and one from Target we'll do the brown And I also had uh, our gas bill due. So, where are we going to go? Oh, I'll grab this and put it down there. And that was everything I had down for Tuesday. Um, I think it was just like a pretty chill day. And then Wednesday was the night I started feeling sick. So about halfway through my work shift I was closing that night. Um, I realized by around like 4 or 4.30 that I was definitely getting sick. I literally couldn't stop sneezing and I was just feeling really like groggy and I had like that kind of like glassy eyed like thing going on but I had to stay in clothes because it was already like five and you're not allowed, they're not allowed to look closed with just like one staff member there. Um, so I had to like tough it out but yeah, it was not fun. I would would not recommend. So I'm going to put down my to clean list there. And I had my sax card due, which I have a sax card because I used to work there. And you have to get one. So um, I just like transferred from like an associate's account to like a normal one after I left um but I basically ordered some new underwear that was sort of my like high five lose weight like my favorite because I used to work in intimates so I really like the Notori underwear and I ordered a few pairs of new underwear for myself and you get free shipping if you use your card so um I paid that off and then Joe worked that day and that was everything there um, I have a couple 
little icon things I can put down up here. So Wednesday morning, we needed to take the trash out because it was trash day. And I also made the videos that I had uploaded on Monday. I made them live on Wednesday. I just did both of them at once. Um, and then on Thursday, flipping over, Thursday was a sick day, so Thursday night, Joe and I had gotten Captain Underpants <laughs> from work, uh, which it was cute. I used to read the books when I was a kid, so I had fun watching it. It made me laugh. I'm gonna use one of these gold glitter half boxes for my bubble bath. And then I got my package from West Elm. Well, I was just so busy talking away that I didn't realize that my camera had shut off. So um, I started to put down stuff for Friday. I put down a bill due for our mortgage draft Joe working and then SPC new releases. Um, this was still a sick day. Um, I did originally had like a game night planned with my brother and stuff, but we had to cancel that because I was sick. Oh, I did forget to put down something for like the bubble bath. Let's do... that and on Friday I also did some laundry while I was home just because it needed to be done and I was running out of pajamas because I had been sick for like three days and I just had gone through like five pairs of pajamas because you know if I'm like wearing them at home all day I don't want to like sleep in them and then when I wake up in the morning I don't know like when I shower, I don't want to put on like old pajamas. I'm supposed to when I'm like sick, I just feel really gross and like sticky. And I definitely had a fever on Thursday and I was just like all sweaty and blah. So I have like these kind of like wine colored. I'll put the laundry stuff on the bottom three right there. And so on Saturday, I was saying, Joe and I, because we hadn't really seen each other, we went on a brunch date in the morning. And then his cousin's wedding was that afternoon, but unfortunately Joe was unable to go because of work. So I'm going to stack two half boxes here. And after Joe left, I did some filming and let's put down Joe working. And I was going to use like laptops for the filming and the editing. Uh, let's use the rose patterned label. So I also wanted to use these gold coffee cups to mark our brunch date. And then Jackie's wedding was that evening. So we'll 
we'll just do that instead of getting out wedding stickers. And cool, that was everything for Saturday. And then Sunday, I, it was kind of like a cleaning day. I planned for the week ahead. So I'm gonna use this label. We're kind of just gonna like go down the line here. So planning and then Joe was working. And I did more filming, so I'm just going to use a little thing this time. I got a bunch of cleaning done around the house. So I'm going to get a cleaning kind of icon. I probably have something here. Yeah, let's do the little Once More With Love made. And I also cleaned my makeup brushes. Um, is there like a pretty, like a piece of washi or something I can put down under this? No. <laughs> I guess I'll just like center it. There. And... Then I've been doing a Game of Thrones rewatch where I like watch an episode every Sunday night um, in order, like watching an episode until, you know, the new season comes out. So that, and then I wanted to also put a TV icon down. So that was everything for Sunday. And then I'm also going to grab these Instagram icons and put them down for my Instagram posts on Saturday and Sunday. So that was everything for that part of the week. I am going to grab my Planner Kate doctor stickers to put over the little things because I will forget if I don't. So that was for Joe working. That was Joe working. That was Joe working. And then he also worked Monday and Wednesday. There we go. Um, yep, that is pretty much everything for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out and then I, or actually I'll do deco first. I'm going to do deco and then I'll trim stuff off the top or do I want to do date covers? No, I feel like that'll be really, mm -mm. I haven't done date covers in a while. Do I like the date covers? I don't I guess I'm not really like, this deco is super big. I feel like it would be really difficult to decorate with. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like that'll be really heavy though, if I put that down. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna give this my, uh, 
my honest try here, so we'll see. All right, so this is the filled out spread, and I'm so glad I did the deco instead of the date covers. It turned out way better than I thought it could possibly turn out. Like, I absolutely love the way the deco looks. It might be some of my favorite that I have done recently. Um, I kind of wanted to make it look like the stars were falling out of the upside down bag. I actually ended up really loving this kit. I remember when I got it, I was sort of like, on the fence about it just because it, it felt really dark and I wasn't sure how I felt about it but I actually really 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 love this spread and I love it way more than I thought I would um I always am there's like some kits where you use them and you're like oh my gosh I know I'm gonna love this kit like this is whatever but like if this hadn't been a mystery kit I probably wouldn't have bought it but I actually really, 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 really love this, like, so much. Um, so this is what's left of the kit. I have most of the mini icons and a few functional things, most of the little things and the solid washi. I have date covers, um, a few pieces of deco, and pretty much everything on the front page, the bottom half of that tall box, which you could totally use as a full box. Um, like splitting it up like that and then lots of functional things left a few glitter headers and about half of the freebie so that was everything for this spread I hope you guys enjoyed um and yeah I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video bye